what is up good morning welcome to the vlog today we're just gonna have a productive day because i've been slacking the last few days i've not gotten any work done so we need to get it together before we begin with the vlog i just want to show you guys something you guys can already see it in the background I'm just so happy about it. I'm so happy about it. Let's fucking sit and debrief that. It's Thursday now and I've been trying to start this vlog for the last three days. I started this vlog on Monday and I was like, you know what? I want, I want to have like a rest and relaxation day. So I stopped vlogging. I did the same thing on Tuesday and yesterday I was like, you know what? Let's get our shit together. I started vlogging and I just did not like how I was looking. And I, I just like was completely out of practice when it came to vlogging. It's been about like a week and a half since I vlogged last and... The thing about me is, if there, if I go three, four days without vlogging, I forget how to talk to a camera. Immediately there's awkwardness. So I was feeling so fucking awkward yesterday, but I had like a full meltdown with Mahika. And then she was like, you know what, Ruthwick, why are you, like, why are you like focusing so much? Like, it's not that big of a deal. And I have to agree. What I did was like, I vlogged, like, I vlogged like the entire day and then I scrapped that footage. And I'm so happy that I did that because now that the awkwardness is gone like i can talk to the camera very normally once again i have a lot to talk about because the last three days which i want to talk about a lot of things have happened first things first my mom is out of town for like a few days she's visiting her sister for me that means i'm on a vacation i don't know if anybody else can feel this but when moms or dads especially moms when moms go out of town it's like a vacation at home. I love my mom, but that is exactly how it is. I hope someone can understand it. And the second main thing is I got the AC. Last week, I realized that summer is already here. It's February and summer is already here. I was feeling so miserable because how hot it was. And when it's so hot, I have to turn on the fan to a like, higher speed. And then that in turn leaves me so, so, so drained because the constant high speed fan when you're sleeping it's just not good for you i, f I woke up feeling so bloated I, I was i was feeling very puffy like i was looking huge then my skin was drying out and just like it was not a good time so basically that's what i decided that you know what enough is enough i'm gonna get an ac so i did go and buy that ac i have a few clips of me getting it like going to the store booking it up and then the guys came and installed it yesterday and i'm just so happy i had such a good sleep last night i did not want to wake up today i'm not even putting the ac on like that cold of a setting like nothing like that 18 or 20 degrees celsius i put it on economy mode because i'm gonna have to pay the bills 24 degrees celsius is perfect to sleep in because it's not too hot it's not too cold you, you take like a little blanket on you and it's a good time it's a good sleep i'm just so happy that i'm not gonna get depressed for the next three four months there's no summertime depression vlog coming your way this year i've made one every single year since i started this channel I don't think so there's anything else i need to catch you guys up on is there also i've decided to not do this vlog into any sort of like bookish vlog because i'll talk about that also in the future like in this vlog only but i don't want to extend the intro we are making a to-do list and we are going to complete it you want to come along with me as i complete my to-do list because i'm going to have a big big to-do list i don't have a class today if you guys don't know i'm a zumba instructor all of my time is going to be dedicated to getting my shit together and just setting everything up and just like catching myself up for the last three weeks of non-work okay my goal is to get all of it done and I don't know how much talking I'll be able to do because I'm just gonna pop my headphones in and just get it done. Because that is the mood I am in. Like I need to get everything done. It's 9.42 right now. So 10.30, 10.30, 11.31, 12.30, three and a half hours. Yeah, three and a half hours is plenty of time. Plenty of time. Let's just, let's just get it done. Let me go and get a drill from my friend so that we can drill some new holes in the wall.
that took about an hour but most of it was because of the curtains and everything i'm just so happy that i've gotten done so much of work i have 10 things on my to-do list i've already done three of them the best feeling ever i have a lot of fruit to cut and i'm i, I said i was gonna cut it after kulfi after kulfi's bath but i'm gonna do it right now because i just after kulfi takes a bath i am gonna take a shower so I just want to be clean and I don't want to touch the sticky fruit juices after I'm showered and ready. Let's cut up some fruit. I kind of want to make another coffee but I, I will need another coffee after giving Kulfi a bath because it's just so exhausting. It's just so, so, so draining. So yeah, we'll make one then. And I know, I know, you know who you are. You know who you are. I am going to do a tutorial on how I do, how I make my coffee, like every single thing I will talk you guys through it. Just have some patience, okay? literally 111 so make a wish 111 I'm not done anything else for the last two hours I just I just was doing random chores the camera was on charging so I was like I'm not gonna be able to vlog so let's not do anything so I was just doing chores which were not vlog worthy I'm now going to get up and give Kulfi a bath I said that I think every everything except the filming of videos would be done by one but Clearly that's not the case. I think so now from here on it will take me about one and a half hour to give Kulfi a bath because I have to give her like multiple shampoos then just drying her takes up so much of my time. Let's see, we'll hopefully start filming by three. I actually got like a few ideas which I want to film for the reel so I'm gonna note everything down while they are fresh in my mind. Time to give Kulfi a bath. I'm so not looking forward to this. It's just, it's not a fun time giving her a bath. It's just too exhausting for me. But we gotta do what we gotta do because she's stinking. If you guys can't see where she is, she's with my sister. She spends her entire day over there. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. It drives me fucking crazy, but. <laughs> I just broke my wooden comb. What the fuck? It is literally 3.20 right now. I am now going to get ready for the video. I'm watching some vlogs as usual. It is it started to get hot, so I'm gonna turn on the AC. Ah! Dude, I'm so happy right now. Let's fucking film some videos. I kind of like the hair today. It's like very poofy and has like a lot of volume. Get it? I don't know why I'm getting so excited for an AC, but I hope you guys understand that. To add some powder to my face because I look greasy. Okay, so before we sit down and film, I want to make some coffee because I need something cold inside my system. I also need to give you guys the tutorial of how I make my coffee. Okay, so the username who commented was, I think it's a cellulophile, something like that. Few key things about how I make my coffee. 
just excuse my hair i've not styled it at all i use a mocha pot to make my coffee i've been using this one for the last about seven years now and it's my favorite way to make coffee at home i do have like a electric drip coffee maker i used it for like about a year and a half but then i gave up on it because i got this so basically this is a italian home espresso machine type of thing almost all of the italians have it in their houses and some people even go as far as not washing it ever just emptying out the grounds and adding new grounds in the basket so yeah it's like a very popular way of making coffee at home it's kind of like making an extra dark extra strong black coffee almost to the point of an espresso but there's no really pressure involved so there are three parts this is the water chamber it's a base chamber so you fill it up with water you have this basket funnel type thing and you put your coffee grounds in here and then this is your top thing the coffee collects in here so you fill it up with water you add your grounds to this and then put it in here you screw the top on heat it from the bottom when the water boils passes through the coffee grounds and then collects in the top one that is as simple as it is i lost my handle and lid because i have used it so many times i've dropped it so many times that it just broke off so i'm gonna fill it up with water right now and it's like this valve on the side of it so you fill it up below that valve you put your coffee in this i use this seven beans coffee company uru beige medium roast i love this coffee i've been using it for the last three years and mm, i am in love with it it's very very like rich it's very creamy because it's not like a pure coffee it's about 80 20 percent coffee and chicory uh, it's basically a coffee filler type of thing it just adds like a rich dimension to the coffee it makes it creamy and rich south indian filter coffees usually have chicory in them because they add that little mellow-esque flavor to it it has like a very chocolatey notes and very like nutty notes to it seven beans coffee company if you're watching i love free coffee so you fill it up with this you add it like this and you screw the top on there's like this rubber gauge inside it so it secures on very tightly so that like a, some sort of like pressure is created in the coffee just light up your stove and place it you take your eyes add it to your mason jar it is absolutely essential that you use a mason jar not just like a regular glass because this is a vibe, this is an aesthetic and you need to have it. Then you add milk of your choice. If you're gonna use the blend which I am using, I have like a little tip for you. If you add hot milk to your ice and then add the hot coffee on top of it, the taste is much, much, much like literally four times better. And then you hold your glass like this in front of the camera and pour your coffee. Make sure you don't burn yourself. We cannot miss the most important step, which is to refill the ice tray. Because if you don't fill this right time, right now, Ruthik in the future is gonna get mad at you. Now that the ice tray is filled, the coffee is made. Let's go and film some YouTube videos. <sighs> Memory card goes in. Also side note a tip if you are also a content creator and if you use cameras and if you are getting a memory card instead of getting like a big capacity memory card like 128 gb or 256 256 gb i would recommend getting three four small ones because if a memory card were to get corrupt you would lose that entire capacity and that entire storage space like everything you filmed is poof gone having small ones just protects your work that that way that's like a tip which i learned from a photographer friend and i have stuck to it ever since okay so i don't wanna I don't want to film a time lapse so I guess I'll see you guys once I'm done filming the videos I don't have an outline but we're just gonna go off vibes just pure plain vibes okay so it is 4 15 right now and I just got done filming the booktube newbie tag as well as the a lot of the things vlog outro and I don't want to film the other video which I said I was gonna film just like a backup video 
so I'm not gonna film it that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna film it and now I need to get on with the filming of reels because I need to move ahead to editing because I need to edit the reels as well as the booktube newbie tag because it is supposed to go live today I just realized that but I'm just having such a productive day today and whatever like panic and anxiety I was having about the vlog it's now gone I'm liking the vlog so far and I hope you guys are also liking it if you are comment down below we love the vlogs okay let's move on to reels i need to change because i filmed so much content in this t-shirt we need to put on something else because at this point i'm just rambling so i am gonna shut up let me fucking outline the reels which i want to film and move on to film it <laughs> filmed four reels so far four or three reels so far and i think so that is enough for today because i just don't i want the reels to be very fresh when i post them i don't want to feel that oh my god they're boring or something like that there is just one reel which i need to film it's not a face reel so i'm gonna just film it and then sync the audio now it's time to set an edit and that's gonna be not a vlog worthy thing so i will see you guys once i'm done with editing a bunch of things and then yeah i don't know where the day is gonna take me because i've done everything that i needed to do like here's my to-do list so i'm gonna like cross off film a bunch of reels i just have to outline the giveaway reel which i'm posting on saturday so that's the only thing which i have left other than that i am free to do anything and everything that i want hi what is up it is 5 30 right now and i just got done like editing and posting one of the reels i've posted the eleanor oliphant recommendation reel i should be getting on with the editing of the booktube newbie tag video but i kind of don't want to i'm just so fucking tired it is just 15 minutes of footage i think so it should take about half an hour to one hour maximum to finish the edit on this video 5 30 so my goal is to get the video up and running by 7 pm it should happen very very easy i told you guys that i was not going to talk about books in this vlog because i just want to talk about something else and not use books as a, like a crutch for content which has become the reality before i tell you guys what my plan for reading is i just want to rant a little bit about youtube and stuff so let me just prep the scene wait a minute for the past um, two months honestly i've been feeling kind of like a not a burnout but just like a creative exhaustion type of thing like it's coming from like multiple places multiple things coming together at a head once i've been feeling a bit burnt out when it comes to youtube and like especially like creating bookish content i feel like i've gotten so dependent on the books that i read to make videos and make content that I'm not feeling challenged creatively anymore. I just feel like I'm uh, posting the same type of content very repeatedly. Like every month I have a haul, I have a wrap up, I have a TPR. Three videos are done and every month I post like seven to nine videos depending on how much I can get done. So out of that, almost half of the videos are already pre, like pre-decided what to post. So. The rest of them are just like me taking you guys along for what I'm reading. I've gotten to a point where I just feel very, it just feels very repetitive for me. Like I don't feel that inspired anymore. I don't feel that challenged anymore creatively. If you are a creative person, I hope you guys, I know you guys will understand this. Your creativity is not challenged. If you don't, if you're not forced to think in a different way, it just gets even more frustrating than having to think in a different way. I'd rather take the frustration of trying to do something different than the frustration of doing the same thing again and again that creative burnout type of aspect is combined with the huge 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 disappointment which i got after i got monetized when i first started my youtube channel my only goal for the last three and a half years has been to get monetized and that goal finally came true in January. I'm very glad that that happened. I'm very proud of myself for reaching that goal. But I had like this big 
like vision in my head that once I get monetized, oh, I'm gonna make like three, four hundred dollars in the first month, and I'm gonna be making money off of YouTube. I'm gonna be like getting like all of my efforts like rewarded. But it's been two months, and it's just gonna. Oh my god, it's such a big disappointment. It's not like a disappointment sort of thing. Like I was preparing it as a worst case scenario, but I did not put that much focus on it. But the creator industry in India is just so so fucking horrible. It's just so fucking horrible that it's two months since I monetized, and can you guys see how many how many dollars I've made? Twenty-three fucking dollars. That's not enough for my gas for the month. My expectations were so 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 high, and I got such a cruel reality check. <clears throat> and it's taking a lot in me to just come terms with it. And when I realized that finally that it's gonna take a while before AdSense starts pulling in money like regularly, so I got desperate and I started reaching out to brands. And that is even worse. Like that whole industry is even worse to get sponsorships. The Indian industry just wants. you to have like at least 50000 and above followers which is so fucking like dude why I, why is that i mean like and it just goes for me it just goes to show that i still have so much so much of ways to go it's like me stealing myself for the actual reality so that also coming head with the creative burnout it just it's been pushing me a lot in my mind it's been putting a lot of stress on my mind like you might be thinking like oh that's nothing some of us have to actually go out and work like dude if you guys know me if you have watched any videos on my channel you know that i do have a full time job essentially i i'm a full time zumba instructor and that job itself is very physical it's very laborious and i'm so fucking exhausted when i go to sleep and i've just realized that i'm pushing myself too much like i'm essentially working two full time jobs and and I'm not getting paid enough for that. I'm just trying to come to a place where I still put out content but I don't exhaust myself doing that. It's going to take some time to figure out and I I also know that what whatever goals I have from YouTube from my social media are very realistic and they are very doable. People have done it so many times like thousands and hundreds of thousands of people have done it. So I know it's going to happen but like the timeline which i had created in my head that was that is not going to happen anymore so i'm just learning to just let go and just see how things turn out for themselves i'm just going to do my job as making videos and creating content and the rest is up to the universe and i just hope the universe rewards me for my efforts that is all i can do literally that is all i can do because if i go into controlling and just depend making like making my happiness dependent on the numbers it's never going to be that way yeah i don't know what the purpose of this youtube rant was but i just wanted to talk about it in the hopes that someone out there is interested in all of the behind the scenes and what goes through my head and my life as a creator so yeah that is like my little rant type of thing so i'm not going to give you guys any bookish reviews or anything like that but it's just now such a big habit of mine that i want to talk about the books that I was reading. Okay, finished Lord of the Rings last exactly seven days ago, last Thursday, and then after that, once March started, I read two books uh, up till Sunday. On Monday, I started reading The Institute by Stephen King. Read six pages at night, put it away, went to sleep, never picked it up again. Then yesterday, I started reading Dollar Good Dream Department Store. Read three pages, put it back, went to sleep. I have no intention of picking it up. in the next few days because i'm just like not in a reading mood i'm just kind of completely kind of like burnt out with reading as well because i've read about 3 to 4 books average for the last month so i just need to desaturate my mind from the stories that i've already read so in that hopes i'm picking up the authenticity project by claire pooley in the hopes that this is supposed to be like a very cozy very comforting just like a low stakes a low effort type of book hopefully i can read this on the side without having to give too much of my brain power to it and yeah that is all i have to say no other reading updates will be given because there is no reading being done
just got done uploading the video and it is 8.15 and I am going to try to read, ah, uh, not this one, ah, uh, please. I'm going to try to read The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. Pray for me, you know, pray for me. Welcome. Oh, what the fuck am I? Why am I introing the vlog once again? Like you, you've already been watching. Like I just woke up about like ten minutes ago. I um, immediately started watching YouTube because that's all I can do. I cannot sit quiet with my thoughts anymore. Coffee as usual. Today I don't have anything on the plans. Like I don't really have a lot of plans. I just have a video to edit, but that's supposed to go live tomorrow. So I have today and tomorrow to edit. I want to finish a book today because. If I'm to start a 24-hour job tomorrow, I need to be in that reading momentum. I've not read anything for the last four days of the week, so Monday to Thursday. So hopefully I'll finish a book today and then over the weekend, the book which I finished today will give me enough momentum to read as much as possible, you know? I'm just so sleepy. It's like 10. I slept in today because I stayed up last night till about 2 a.m. and I just don't remember what the fuck did I do. It's most likely YouTube but I did not read anything that's for sure because my books were on my desk. What did I watch on YouTube or was I just... I'm kind of like blacking out. I'm re-watching my favorite vlogs from Ali Azaita, from Hannah Elise, from Remy. I'm overthinking my vlogs because I just feel like I never have the right thing to say. I don't know how to tell my stories and stuff. I'm just like overthinking to the max. It's just a very bad headspace to be in. I'm trying to not let that stop me from vlogging because I love it. I love talking to you guys. Let's just fucking hope that this phase which I am in passes very quickly. Like recently, oh, let's, this is gonna be like a chatty, learn, get to know more about me type of vlog. I've been very much in a moving out headspace. Like I really, really want to move out because I just need a change in my life. I've been living here for the last 24 years and I've been seeing the same exact people for the last 24 years and I just want a change in my life and the desire to move out is kind of like not letting me be happy over here right now and that is not a good headspace to be in and that in turn is also fueling like my vlog uh, like the self-doubt which I'm having when it comes to vlogging is that I've been for using the same angles for literally all my life I've been showing the same things. I kind of want to redo my room just to have some change in the background, some change in my routine. I don't go out that much. It's just like so fucking messy in my head. I, I wanted this vlog to be like a very calm and chill day in my life type of thing, but it's turning into much more like a chaotic day in my mind, in my mind. It's not even my life that is chaotic, just here, like this does not fucking fix itself. I'm so tired of myself, like my brain just does not take a break and it's honestly infuriating me. I'm gonna go back to watching YouTube and just dissociating from reality, but we are going. and I've been spiraling. I don't know why, well, like what all of a sudden happened. Like maybe journaling just triggered like a lot of shit in me, but I, I'm like completely spiraling. I'm just going to start editing so that it just like calms down and I focus on something else. That is what we're gonna do. That is what we're gonna do. I wanna scrap this vlog once again because I'm just like not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And 
it's a public holiday today so the kids are playing outside and it's just too noisy and that also is triggering me i don't know what to do like what the fuck hi it is about 3 pm right now and i got done rough cutting about half of the footage i need to import some more footage from the other camera and the battery also ran out so i'm taking this as like a break point i'm gonna charge the laptop and in the meantime i'm gonna read and i think so i have picked out what book i'm gonna read because yeah i got i got some new books from pat macmillan india so let me show them to you and i'll show you what i'm reading next so pat macmillan india sent over two new books which they released recently and i am really excited for both of them First up we have is Bookshops and Bondest by Travis Baldry. Travis Baldry is the author of Legends and Lattes which I read at the top of last year. It was like my second book of the year or maybe even my first book of the year. I absolutely loved it. It was just so cozy, so warm, so comforting and this is actually the prequel to Legends and Lattes. So I'm very excited. People have been saying that it's not that good in terms of the plot. Like the plot is sort of underwhelming so I know to keep my expectations in check but everybody has been raving about the cozy comforting vibes in this and i am very 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 excited and the second book is black wolf by juan gomez Jurado. this is a sequel of red queen a mystery thriller which i read last year i absolutely loved it it was it was like the typical Masi thriller but with a lot of character development a lot of like character investigation also i just saw that the Red Queen Prime video series is out now so I'm gonna make it a priority to watch it very soon and just see how it fares in terms of like the book to movie adaptation. I am on the book tours for both of these on my Instagram so I'm very excited to just post. I am gonna start reading Bookshops and Bone Dust right away because I have an audiobook like advanced listening copy which is like a audiobook arc so I'm very excited to listen to it and read at the same time it's four hours and 53 seconds so hopefully i finish it today itself and if i do it's gonna be so 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 exciting i am just happy to get out of my own head because if i stay in my own head right now i'm just going to lose it so it's much better that i focus on a different story and get some work done recently i've been loving spamming on my instagram stories as well as on reels so this is like your recurring reminder to just go and follow me over there my bookstagram account is the mindless reads it is about it is 5 pm and i am going to get ready for my class and i think so i'm gonna stop the vlog here because i officially don't have any space on this card left i've just I just have like five minutes of recording time left so thank you so much for coming along for this very chaotic yet very chill very productive yet very restful vlog and i hope you guys found my rambling entertaining or relatable or just brought you some sort of comfort and company and if it did just let me know it makes me happy to hear from you anything you want to say you want to say anything Yeah, do all the things like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.